doing a filibuster on the floor of the Board of Aldermen, which would stop the funding for the new NFL stadium. Mm Mm-hmm. He says, until we get crime under control, all of our resources and all our money should go towards that before we go towards building a football stadium for a billionaire who is known for mm, developing properties. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And I have a hard time arguing with, with the man. I have a hard time disagreeing with that man. So this stadium financing deal is not... 100% 100% set because the one people who get to vote on it is the, are the Board of Aldermen. Mm-hmm. And Antonio French is saying not so fast. Now, we know crime is a problem, but how bad is it? Well, the St. Louis Post Dispatch has a map of the crime in the St. Louis metropolitan area. Mm-hmm. And um, St. Louis, a man in Baden was just shot and killed, which is now the 150th murder in St. Louis City. So, you know, we're going to shatter the record over the last couple of years. This map, everybody needs to look at, Kelly Jackson, because this map, numbers and stats don't lie. And when you see this map, this map is explains everything. You talk about the Central Corridor, the Highway 6440 Central Corridor. Guess what? There is a swath of blank. No murders, no shootings, no crime, no suspicious deaths, no stabbing, all right along Highway 40 right through St. Louis. Right? Nothing. It's perfect. You get outside of that little buffer zone, right? Forest Park to sort of Highway 44, and all of a sudden, you you start to see the little red dots. Mm -hmm. And the little red dots in North St. Louis City, the dots are on top of each other. One dot after another. And each one of those dots represents somebody shot and killed. Uh, Down south, 44, there's a couple. South St. Louis, right down um, uh, Gravois, And south of Gravoy to 55, the dots start to add up even more. So severe south St. Louis highway, right down Highway 55. Um, There's just, you know, right before you get to Afton. After Afton, no more shootings. Mm -hmm. Um, North St. Louis, it it is like it is concentrated in North St. Louis City. The minute you get out into Normandy and Ferguson and Riverview, there's still a couple, but... The major, the majority of concentrated shootings is right in North St. Louis and right in downtown, just north downtown and south downtown. But that swath right there by Bush Stadium and Keener Plaza and the Arch, boy, it looks like just a a roadway of, uh, of no murders. So then this interactive map, then what you do is that's all the shootings, and all the red are the humans who have been killed. Then what this map allows you to do, you can go up and you can say police shootings, and boom, there are all the police shootings. And guess what? Uh, One, two, three, four, five. Five police shootings. One's in Jennings. Three are in North City, and one is in, it looks like, South City, right by Highway 55. Those are just police shootings. They're not justified They're just or unjustified. They're just police shootings. So in a city where you have 150 people who have been shot and killed, in 2015, you have five police shootings. Now, how much energy is put into the... Uh, uh, granted, there, sometimes the police do very bad, bad things, but... Look at the world they live in, where mm-hmm. 150 people are shot in these concentrated areas. Mm-hmm. And so this is what you send them out to every day. This is what you send your children out to every day, and your grandparents, and your wife. And everybody goes out in, in this world every day. And, 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 and we blame the police? Look at this map. This map shows everything you need to know about crime and about shooting in St. Louis. And I applaud Antonio French to stand up and say, not one more penny for one more stadium till we try and figure out and solve this 
this violence problem going on in the city of St. Louis. It's very sobering when you see all of the red dots. And we're only into the first part of October. We still have a few months left. Yes. Before the end of the year. Yes. Um, in response to Antonio Francis, you know, proposal. Right. Mayor Slay's office says that they have, quote, taken a comprehensive approach to crime fighting for the past 14 years. <laughs> And and look, I don't I don't know what can be done, um, except for anything other than a Marshall Plan, which is uh, clearly uh, these piecemeal band aid programs. You know, you name it, they're all well intentioned, um, but I'm not so sure they're going to actually solve the crime and the poverty problem and everything associated with it. But all you have to do is take a look. We'll we'll tweet this map out, and it'll be you can. I mean, all you have to do is go to stltoday.com. And it's right there on the front front page to look at the dots. Uh, and each dot mm -hmm. represents a shooting. And look at where it's happening. It's not happening in Clayton. It's not happening in Maryland Heights and Creve Corps or Webster Groves or Kirkwood or Afton. Or, right? It's happening right there in concentrated north St. Louis City and in parts of south St. Louis. Very sobering. It is. 725 here. Big 550 KTRS.